Okay, to transform Sludge into his robot mode, first thing you want to do is lift up his legs like so. And on the bottom, straighten them out and then fold in his toes and lift up the lower part of the dino legs and put them inside the upper part. Then you could bring down these legs and rotate them so that they fit this contour shape on both sides. Once you do, you could lift up the top of his feet. And here on the bottom, you want to untab it and split the legs in half along with the tail, split them in half. Once you do that, you should be able to pull out these legs like so. Once you do, then you can separate, okay, lift up the front and the back part of this leg, which is uh, tabbed in there. And the tail, you want to fold it in, but you have to take note that this tail is on a double hinge. So not from the tail part, but from the leg part. So if you see that rectangular shape, needs to come out because this whole leg now lower leg needs to rotate around 180 and it's not going to be able to rotate unless you pull that tail out from that uh, rectangular base piece once you do that then you could lift up this leg and fold it into that uh, rectangular cavity so now you have the leg like this and then from here, we can go ahead and bring out this little panel flap, which is going to cover the back part of his leg. And this panel piece here, you want to bring, drop it down. Once you do, fold in the tail and bring it in. And then you could lift up the other half of this panel here, which you could see is has a cutout curve that fits the tail shape. Once you do, you could push in on the double hinge up here, the uh, dino leg. And then once you do, then you could start closing this up, close the front part, close the back part. And here, this is what I don't like, but the tabs, you have to find this tab, line it up on this inner part, and tab it in and here you're going to have to give it a good uh, squeeze so you hear that sound and then go ahead and just push that foot in now we have one leg done do the same thing on this side so split open the legs the front and the back you need to untab it which is a little difficult because it's really tight Okay, once you do, then you can br bring down this uh, panel piece that covers the back part of his lower leg. And then you could fold in this tail. Sometimes it does get uh, rotated here on that ball joint. So find it so that it folds in and then fold it in and again you need to when you rotate this tail it's on a double hinge it's not going to rotate like this you need to make sure you pull it out on that rectangular piece so you have that space for it to rotate once you do you can rotate this leg around 180 and then lift up the leg folding it into that rectangular cavity once you do that then you can go ahead and drop down this panel piece, fold in this tail, lift up the part of the panel piece, which contours that tail shape. On the outer side, on the double hinge up here, you can push in this leg, the lower leg. And then once you do, you can close in the top here, the back, you need to find that tab on the inner part, line it up, and then give it a good squeeze. I don't like that sound. And then just tuck in the foot. 
And now we have his legs all done like so. Now the upper part that you want to do, let's straighten this out so you could see. You want to bring this down like so. And then his dino arms, lift them up to the side. Fold in his uh, fingers. And then here you want to take note that you, when you rotate it, you're creating that circular cavity, which is going to go around that circular um, screw right there. Do the same on this side. Drop this, lift this up, drop this down. And then we can go ahead and rotate them up like so, which is giving us room to now lift uh, these um, wings open. So from the top, you can go ahead and split this in half, which is opening up, bringing out his arms. And once you do that, let's uh, go ahead now and just drop his uh, legs down so you could see how he's situated. And here, this uh, wings are on a double hinge, so you can just go ahead and bring them out like so on the double hinge. Just kind of tuck up um, this front piece out and then accordion this out on the double hinge. Okay, then from the front view, you can go ahead and lift up these arms here. Like so, and then if you see this uh, red bar here, you want to lift it up. You could see how it's going to fit into that little slot there. Do the same thing on this side, lift it up like so. And then you can rotate these forward. So on the back view, now we can bring this down, this neck piece. It's on a, also on a double hinge, like two pins here. So what you want to do is, well, first of all, let's rotate this whole head around 180 and then bring this down and then bring down his head. And here you could see this uh, gray uh, plane here and this red, you want to line them up like so. So now you have it, it's, it's nice and flat like that. Now we have his head situated, ready to go. And then here we can go ahead and now bring down his uh, dino legs, but make sure this square piece is facing outward, which is going to face the back of the uh, dino mode. Once you do that, now we can start setting things up to tab in. So this gray bottom piece, lift it up like so. Rotate these legs down. So you got something like this. And also now the top piece needs to drop down. And this is where you have to take note that um, there are tabs on the bottom. You could see the tab here, the slot there, and you could see the circular tab up here and the circular slot right there. So <laughs> you're gonna have to tab four of them all together. So collapse these uh, two chest side pieces together, find the tabs, line it up, tab it in. And once you do one, two, three, four, you should get them all tabbed in. And then, can go ahead and uh, straighten out his arms, rotate his leg around or hips around 180, and lift up his uh, dino <laughs> toes here, which allows us uh, room for the parts forming uh, wrist. So you take your choice. Uh, which hands you want. You can have the articulated wrist or the uh, fist to hold the gun. So 
So let's uh, tab in the uh, fist piece here. And then we can go ahead and put in his uh, blaster in his fist here. And then do the same on the other side. I'm going to give him his uh, fist piece here. And then you can just start uh, adjusting this how you like. Let's come up here. Uh, the wings. Uh, the wings can rotate right here so you can lift them up a little bit if you want all based on your preference and it's on a double hinge so you can ha adjust this however you want and once you do that you can get him in his pose and now we have sludge in his dyno mode and this does have uh, your standard good amount of articulation so if the uh, right arm comes up then contraposto his uh, left leg should come forward and then you can kind of rotate these back and then his uh, other arm should go back and out so this is all the contraposto the counterbalance thing and you can get some nice poses you can also turn uh, from the hips to get some nice uh, waist articulation head is on a ball joint so you can uh, adjust the head so he's looking facing wherever you want him to and now we have sludge in his uh, robot mode really cool really like loving this figure so there's how to transform sludge from dino mode into his robot mode. Oh, sludge, lie.